sort of jump right into it. Uh, the first one that, that's kind of popular is paper use. And the one reference point that a lot of people go to is the utility industry. You know, smart meters where you pay uh, for power or electricity based on how much you actually use, as opposed to esti like an estimated base system they used beforehand. And what we found is the actual cost, you know, this is based off of uh, a, a, smart, uh, a smart meter white paper that, that the Institute of Electric, Electric Efficiency did. And the operating cost was about $200 million for, this is retrospective after the fact, by the way. Um, the operating cost was uh, almost $200 million of cost for the hardware, installation, connectivity, et cetera. The savings in billing and getting the data was less than half. So you say, okay, this is savings in billing is the main thing that you hear about, but actually there's a lot of other factors going on that make the business case work. It's not just, okay, we're gonna have uh, frequent billing cycles or, or, or the cost of the metering that, that, that's going on. So in the consumer, sorry, in the, for, for the power industry, there's a whole bunch of other factors that, that we have. So I'm gonna speak about these, these additional contributing factors to that business case um, in sort of generic terms because some of the stuff doesn't necessarily apply to everyone. Um, so one of, the, one of the things that paper use allows you to do is eliminate unnecessary delivery costs. Either you're, setting, you know, you're paying or sending too many trips out to each uh, customer to deliver that service, or you know, you're not going there often enough and you can potentially sell more products. Another component in there is avoiding inventory costs. So now that you know when the consumption patterns are, the actual production or whatever you're selling, whatever your manufacturing process or importing process is, they can streamline that to match. So you have basically better cash flow and the company operating, operating the service um, saves in terms of the, the, on the production side of things. The other common area around this is streamlining sales. So in a pay-per-use service, you automatically reorder the next unit of whatever units you have. And as a result, what we found is um, that reorder is automatic. They're not calling you, they're not negotiating, they're not looking at competitors, that, that reorder happens automatically and you have a, a lot more stickiness with the customer based on that convenience, which is another factor in there. Um, and then one of, the, one, of the, one of the other big factors here is um, forecasting demand. So now that you have historical data, you can sort of predict six months out, a year out, whatever, um, based on consumption, consumption year over year, um, comparisons of, of how much people are consuming, relative information. So this allows you to forecast your demand op, uh, better and get a lot more efficiencies around the planning process. So these are what, at least from this report, you know, the different sort of scenarios that applied for public utilities. On top of that, there's additional long-term benefits. So we find this pattern a lot when people build an initial, an initial IoT platform, they don't think about the possibility of taking that you know, a, step, a step further once it's actually implemented. So the, the, the two big things that were commonly available for in the utilities market has to do with providing new services like time of day billing or, or uh, you know, uh, uh, thermostats, right? They, they have smart thermostats now that utilities are selling directly where before they used to sell that through uh, another channel and not, that, wouldn't, that wasn't part of their business. Uh, time of day billing was a huge benefit for them because uh, they're now able to control their production process according to different times of day and people aren't, aren't using it at peak, essentially. This will be available online. So if you're seeing this online, um, feel free to say, say drop me an email if you have problems with your business case or you need some help, I'd be happy to share some some information or, or share some guidance there.